uh, this is the second part of a video on color mixing adjusting some of the slave tracks in our system to more closely match LEDs so let's pick up where we left off okay so having adjusted this balance to have 10% of the red 33% of the green and full blue then we're getting closer to actually being able to reproduce some of these colors however I find that you really get more of a sense of a color mixture if you also use a persistence of vision phenomenon okay now how we do that is we actually go in and we reduce the flashing intensity to keep the LEDs on more solid so the blue for instance I find best to drop down to around 30 three percent around a third of the, its full value okay and on the green on the flashing intensity I find that if you're around 70 percent 75 percent then you're within a good range and then leave the full flashing intensity on the red itself so you're getting a persistence of vision effect you're having the blue on almost all the time just with a small little fade out and the green more so of a fade out but still on quite a bit and then the red is really delivering the flicker the full flicker as set by the entrainment track so that allows you to continually have an adjustment with the blue light and then get a peak of the green as it comes in for mixture and then let the red bleed itself in and out to get the mixture so it's a cumulative kind of effect that builds up the colors and it's especially when you get into ranges of purples and ranges of cyans and sky blue type colors and all of that that these types of things are really important now can I honestly say that this is the final answer and a standard by which everyone should follow no I, ha I haven't gotten to that level yet and so I appreciate feedback on people that choose to implement this type of system um, now one thing that I find that's helpful in learning to create colors in general learning to do color mixtures with the LEDs for closed eye meditation use alright is to learn a little bit if you don't have a graphics background to learn a bit about how um, these colors blend together to create colors now a, a website that I find particularly useful for that regard uh, but I have a strong graphics background so it's, it's almost innate to me at this point is called RGB Explorer okay and it's at intercomputing.org slash image slash RGB slash explorer dot HTML but just search for RGB Explorer in Google and you'll be able to get to this page but this is a good one good page good color picker to show you how that L, how that the three colors red green and blue mix together to create um, the full range of the spectrum of colors that are available to you so it's just kind of a little tool to play with if you don't have a strong background and understanding of um, color mixtures for computer displays in this case LED displays and I think this is a pretty good tool just to familiarize yourself with it and, and learn the systems that will help you get a long way toward producing the types of colors that you would want to see within the limitations of the medium you know each medium in an artistic realm has limitations to it this is one of the limitations and what we do is we find ways to work with it work within those limitations to create the best effects that we can um, and this is human physiology you know this is not a technological limitation this is a, a physiological limitation uh, just of the human visual system so let me just quick quickly recap we have a master track that is controlling a set of 
slave subtracts that are linked uh, the content blocks are synced with the blocks inside of the main master track the master track does not play back we mute it all the spectra strobe is coming from these subtracks but we do have a screen flashing preview display that we use to determine what colors are being produced by these. We pick our colors in the master track and they cascade down to the subtracks. Now in the subtracks we make an adjustment to balance out our LEDs to try to get the best representation of the colors that we see in the screen flashing in the LEDs as perceived through closed eyes while we're running a session and meditating. So to do that we change the balance of the red LED down to 10 percent of its value as rated within the colors. Now we don't use the brightness we could but I find it doesn't have quite the same effect and I like to use the brightness in, in other ways that we'll get to later but so I choose to actually scale the color selection alright so red 10% of its value green 33% of its value and blue remains full blue remains completely on now we also adjust the flashing intensities alright so each LED has an adjustment uh, the red stays full flashing intensity the green goes down to 75 percent of its value and the blue goes to 33 percent so this is just my working model at this time uh, and I find that it reproduces colors uh, within my particular physiology and I would appreciate your input and reports on how you find if you implement the system how how well you find that it matches what you're seeing on the screens and then together we can refine the system and get better and better results from the um, output of the LEDs in closed eye use so I hope this video has been beneficial um, I tried to say when something is of a known value and something is a work in progress and this is certainly a work in progress but at this time I it's the best working model that I have so hope that helps and this is Scott Hendrickson with my place and have a great day